Welcome to The Road to 5G, brought to you by the Rogers Corporation. Today's topic, how to build multi-layer boards using PTFE and thermoset high-frequency materials to be used in 5G applications. Hello, I'm Meyer Vahabzadeh with Rogers Corporation. RL3000 and CLTE PTFE-based copper-clad laminates from Rogers Corporation have been successfully processed into double-sided and multi-layered printed circuit boards for several decades. As compared to FR4 type materials, processing PTFE materials typically require adjustments to some standard processes and parameters. Some special processes may also be required. PCB fabricators who understand how to process PTFE materials have been very successful. PCB fabricators who try to process PTFE materials just like FR4 are likely to not succeed. Rogers Corporation has the resources available to help PCB fabricators demonstrate the capability to process PTFE materials. Technical service engineers will visit factories to advise and train process engineers. Detailed processing guidelines are also available on the Rogers ACS website. In many ways, PTFE materials process similar to FR4 materials. Many processes such as photo imaging, DES, AOI, oxide treat, and MLB bonding, depending on bond ply type, solder mask, and application of most final finishes are very similar to traditional FR4 processes. Some processes are different. For example, FR4 materials require chemical desmear, while PTFE materials might require sodium treatment prior to copper plating. However, FR4 and PTFE materials can both be prepared for plating using the same plasma equipment. Some processes require the same equipment, but slightly modified parameters or conditions. For example, drilling and routing may require adjusted feeds, speeds, and tool life expectancies. Different styles of drill or router bits may also be considered. In this image, we are looking at a cross-section from a 30-layer all-PTFE construction. High quality holes that are free of nodules, interconnect defects, or ICDs, and voids are possible when proper drilling, preparation, and plating are understood, such as types of entry and exit materials used, controlling feeds, speeds, retract rates, and hit counts, use of direct plunge versus peck drilling, post drill, hole clean, and surface preparation. Good registration is possible for all PTFE MLBs. Here we show layer registration on a 30 layer pure PTFE multi-layer board processed on a 610 millimeter by 460 millimeter panel size, which is a 24 by 18. Registration is held within 125 micron or 5 mil annular ring. RO3000 and CLTE cores are compatible with many different adhesive types. FR4, RO4000 prepreg, 2929 bond ply, KUKLAD6250, KUKLAD 6700, FEP, and many others. Here we show a hybrid multilayer with RO3003 and FR4 operating at 77 gigahertz. Which adhesive system to choose depends upon many factors, such as electrical performance requirements, thermal reliability, press temperature capability, bow and twist needs, material costs, etc. Rogers Design and Technical Support Engineers are available to assist in design optimization. Many fabricators in the US, Europe, and Asia enjoy great success processing PTFE materials available from Rogers Corporation into double-sided and multi-layer PCBs. All have learned and implemented proper manufacturing procedures and parameters. Rogers has resources available to help anyone become very successful with our materials. That concludes this segment on the road to 5G. Thank you for watching. For additional information and technical tools, if you're not already a member, join the Rogers Technical Support Hub and gain access to calculators, technical papers, and more Rogers Corporation informational videos. Rogers Technical Information is also available at your fingertips with the Raj mobile app, available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Check it out today.